Yes, this is Chuck Thompson presenting the United States joint venture with the Philippines providing protection mass for all citizens. GEP Global Emergency Provisions appreciates working directly with you. I'm currently working on a health and safety procurements with government agencies within the United States government. The DOD, Department of Defense, has a production act to contract providing 39 million masks. However, these are regular N95 masks that are only usable for a short time. Even with this new practice of washing attempts, we believe it will be grossly inadequate. Our procurement proposal with the DLD, Department of Defense, and other agencies, especially health-related, is to provide a more permanent solution providing health protection masks, not just to health providers throughout the country, but its citizens as well. Because of our one-year mass, which lasts an entire year, those in need won't need to purchase masks on a monthly, weekly, or in many cases, daily basis. Moreover, because it has a triple filter system designed with the MPR, microparticle performance rating of the N95, also containing a smoke and carbon layer for extra protection. The one-year mask not only gives added protection, but added value economically to be utilized by multiple millions of health providers, first-line responders, and the citizens throughout the nation. Yet this order goes beyond 39 million masks. Even with the lockdowns throughout the nation lifted, quarantine protection for every individual will still be needed, but the cost is prohibitive. Because of demand is so high, not just within the United States, but globally, therefore, we're adding a request within our procurement proposal with some U.S. agencies to allow us to produce mass for both nations within the Philippines. The procurement orders should begin with 42 million masks for all health and first responders, hopefully upwards to 420 million for the citizens within both countries. This health emergency protection mass procurement order needs logistic and cooperation coordinating manufacturing efforts on all sides. GEP, Global Emergency Provisions, will give and send all supplies to produce the filter of the mask to the Philippines. This will include MPR, microparticle rating material, which is in the N95 or above for virus protection along with the carbon filters and smoke layer materials. Now, we have stringent specifications for the breathable material that houses the mass filter, but we believe we can obtain those materials within the Philippines. Therefore, allowing this joint venture between the Philippines and the United States to qualify with the trading practices of the United States Commerce Department. Within the Philippines, I currently have friends and coworkers who are highly skilled and professional and trustworthy. I will hire as administrators, directors, and managers for the production line. Yet we believe thousands of personnel will be needed for massively produce protection masks for both nations. Now, we're looking to do this, Lord willing, by the end of April, certainly within the first two weeks of May. I should receive direct procurement official information regarding that time and would love to coordinate it directly with you. Please understand, we're not looking to burden the Philippine government with any financial assistance. 
We simply need logistical help coordinating the efforts to manufacture protection masks within the country. Again, I appreciate the opportunity of speaking directly with you and would love to call on you sometime next week. Thank you very much. Looking forward to working with you and providing the protection for all citizens within both nations. 626-243-8200. Appreciate speaking with you soon. Most of my information you can receive at the website at oneyearmask.com. Thanks again.